Hyacyamine, a naturally occurring compound found in certain plants, has been drawing increasing attention for its potential therapeutic benefits. In this video, we delve into the world of hyacyamine, shedding light on its uses, side effects, optimal dose, and mechanism of action. What is hyacyamine and how does it work? Hyacyamine belongs to a class of compounds known as tropane alkaloids, which are found in plants such as belladonna, henbane, and jimson weed. It acts as an anticholinergic agent, meaning it inhibits the action of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine in the body. This inhibition leads to a relaxation of smooth muscles, resulting in the relief of muscle spasms and cramps. Medical Uses of Hyacyamine Hyacyamine has a long history of use in traditional medicine for its antispasmodic properties. It has been widely employed to treat a variety of conditions, including gastrointestinal disorders, urinary tract spasms, and respiratory conditions. One of the most common uses of hyacyamine is in the management of irritable bowel syndrome IBS, a chronic condition characterized by abdominal pain, bloating, and changes in bowel habits. Studies have shown that hyacyamine can help alleviate the symptoms of IBS, particularly abdominal pain and cramping. In addition to its antispasmodic effects, hyacyamine has also been used in the treatment of peptic ulcers. Peptic ulcers are open sores that develop on the lining of the stomach, esophagus, or duodenum and can cause symptoms such as abdominal pain, nausea, and heartburn. Hyacyamine works by reducing the secretion of gastric acid and enhancing the protective mechanisms of the gastrointestinal mucosa, thereby promoting healing and relieving symptoms associated with peptic ulcers. Common Side Effects of Hyacyamine While hyacyamine can be effective in treating various conditions, it is important to be aware of its potential side effects. Common side effects of hyacyamine include dry mouth, blurred vision, dizziness, and urinary retention. These side effects occur due to the anticholinergic effects of hyacyamine, which can affect various bodily functions regulated by acetylcholine. Dry mouth, also known as xerostomia, is a common side effect of hyacyamine and occurs due to a reduction in saliva production. This can lead to difficulties in speaking, swallowing, and tasting food. Blurred vision and dizziness may also occur as a result of hyacyamine's effects on the eye muscles and the central nervous system. It is important to exercise caution when driving or operating machinery while taking hyacyamine. Urinary retention is another potential side effect of hyacyamine. This occurs when the muscles of the bladder do not contract properly, leading to difficulty in emptying the bladder. If left untreated, urinary retention can cause discomfort and increase the risk of urinary tract infections. It is important to monitor urinary function while taking hyacyamine and consult a healthcare professional if any issues arise. Optimal Dosage and Administration of Hyacyamine The optimal dosage of hyacyamine varies depending on the individual and the condition being treated. It is important to follow the instructions provided by a healthcare professional or the information on the medication label. Typically, hyacyamine is taken orally in the form of tablets or capsules. The dosage may be adjusted based on the response to treatment and any side effects that may occur. For the treatment of irritable bowel syndrome, the usual starting dose of hyacyamine is 0.125 to 0.25 mg taken orally 3 to 4 times a day, before meals and at bedtime. The dosage may be increased if necessary, but it is important to avoid exceeding the maximum recommended daily dose of 1.5 mg. It is recommended to take hyacyamine with a full glass of water and to avoid crushing or chewing the tablets. In the case of peptic ulcers, the usual starting dose of hyacyamine is 0.125 to 0.25 mg taken orally 3 to 4 times a day, 30 minutes to 1 hour before meals and at bedtime. The dosage may be adjusted based on the individual's response to treatment and the severity of symptoms. It is important to take hyacyamine as directed and to consult a healthcare professional if any concerns or questions arise. Precautions and contraindications for hyacyamine use While hyacyamine can be beneficial for many individuals, there are certain precautions and contraindications to be aware of. Hyacyamine should not be used by individuals who are allergic to it or any of its components. It is important to inform a healthcare professional of any known allergies or sensitivities before starting treatment with hyacyamine. Individuals with certain medical conditions should exercise caution when taking hyacyamine. These conditions include glaucoma, urinary retention, gastrointestinal obstruction, and myasthenia gravis. Hyacyamine can worsen the symptoms of these conditions and may lead to complications. It is important to discuss any existing medical conditions with a healthcare professional before initiating treatment with hyacyamine. 
Pregnant or breastfeeding individuals should also exercise caution when considering the use of hyoscyamine. While limited studies have been conducted on the use of hyoscyamine in pregnancy and breastfeeding, it is generally recommended to avoid the use of this medication unless the potential benefits outweigh the potential risks. It is important to consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice in these situations. Interactions with other medications. Hyoscyamine can interact with certain medications, potentially affecting their effectiveness or increasing the risk of side effects. It is important to inform a healthcare professional of all medications, including over-the-counter drugs and herbal supplements, being taken concurrently with hyoscyamine. Hyoscyamine may interact with medications that have anticholinergic properties, such as antihistamines, tricyclic antidepressants, and certain medications used to treat Parkinson's disease. These interactions can increase the risk of side effects associated with hyoscyamine, such as dry mouth, blurred vision, and urinary retention. It is important to discuss any potential drug interactions with a healthcare professional to ensure the safe and effective use of hyoscyamine. Mechanism of Action of Hyoscyamine The mechanism of action of hyoscyamine involves its interaction with muscarinic receptors in the body. Muscarinic receptors are a type of acetylcholine receptor found in various tissues, including smooth muscles, glands, and the central nervous system. By binding to these receptors, hyoscyamine blocks the action of acetylcholine and inhibits its effects. In smooth muscles, hyoscyamine acts as a competitive antagonist at muscarinic receptors, preventing the binding of acetylcholine and reducing the contraction of smooth muscles. This leads to the relaxation of smooth muscles, which can help alleviate muscle spasms and cramps. In the gastrointestinal tract, hyoscyamine reduces the secretion of gastric acid and enhances the protective mechanisms of the gastrointestinal mucosa, resulting in the relief of symptoms associated with conditions like irritable bowel syndrome and peptic ulcers. Alternative uses of hyoscyamine In addition to its established medical uses, hyoscyamine has also shown potential in other areas of healthcare. Research studies have explored the use of hyoscyamine in the management of conditions such as overactive bladder, urinary incontinence, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. Overactive bladder is a condition characterized by a frequent and urgent need to urinate, often accompanied by urinary incontinence. Hyoscyamine has been studied as a treatment option for overactive bladder, as it can help relax the muscles of the bladder and reduce urinary urgency and frequency. However, further research is needed to determine the optimal dosage and effectiveness of hyoscyamine in this context. Similarly, hyoscyamine has shown promise in the management of urinary incontinence, a condition characterized by the involuntary leakage of urine. By relaxing the muscles of the bladder, hyoscyamine can help improve bladder control and reduce episodes of urinary incontinence. However, more studies are needed to establish the safety and efficacy of hyoscyamine for this indication. In the context of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, hyoscyamine has been investigated as a bronchodilator, which means it helps relax the airway muscles, allowing for easier breathing. By dilating the airways, hyoscyamine can help improve lung function and reduce symptoms such as shortness of breath and wheezing. However, further research is needed to determine the optimal dosage and long-term benefits of hyoscyamine in the management of COPD. Conclusion the potential and limitations of hyoscyamine. Hyoscyamine, with its antispasmodic properties and wide range of medical uses, holds great promise as a therapeutic agent. From the treatment of irritable bowel syndrome to the management of peptic ulcers, hyoscyamine has shown effectiveness in alleviating symptoms and improving quality of life. However, it is important to be aware of potential side effects and drug interactions associated with hyoscyamine. While hyoscyamine is generally considered safe when used as directed, it is important to consult a healthcare professional before starting treatment, especially if you have any underlying medical conditions or are taking other medications. They can provide personalized advice and guidance based on your specific needs. As research continues, it is likely that new uses for hyoscyamine will be discovered, expanding its potential benefits. However, further studies are needed to fully understand its mechanisms of action and establish its efficacy for various conditions. In conclusion, Hyoscyamine offers a valuable tool in the treatment of muscle spasms, gastrointestinal disorders, and other conditions. By unlocking the power of hyoscyamine and unraveling its uses, side effects, optimal dose, and mechanism of action, we can harness its potential and enhance our well-being. Thanks for watching.